Imagine the vast amounts of energy released in nature every second. Just the solar energy reaching the Earth's surface is estimated at 89 quadrillion watts. The rays from the sun create turbulence, winds in the Earth's atmosphere. And humans have been using wind power for several thousand years to propel sailboats, sailing ships, and for industrial power using windmills. Renewable energy is all around us, ready to be used through intelligent technology. Without enough knowledge about materials and our ecosystems, humans have created environmentally hazardous technology. But the more we know about materials, the more eco-friendly we can become in the technical development of our societies. ESS, the European Spallation Source, is now building the world's most powerful next-generation facility for materials science. It'll be a large technical construction in the south of Sweden on a site north of Lund, used by thousands of international researchers every year. ESS will use a 500 meter long accelerator to produce neutrons that can give us data about materials that no other method can give. To produce these neutrons, a high-energy proton beam is accelerated to collide into a neutron-rich target material made of metal. This requires substantial amounts of energy, comparable to a medium-sized factory like a paper mill. To reduce our ecological footprint, ESS have developed a sustainable energy concept, together with the international energy company E.ON and the regional energy company Lunds Energy. Together, we will construct the world's first sustainable large-scale research facility in a responsible, renewable and recyclable way. By utilising superconducting technology and new proven cooling techniques, our team has been able to reduce the power consumption of the facility by more than a quarter. The concept, responsible, also means that design optimization will have no negative impact on reliability, the production of neutrons, or on the scientific output of this device for research. The ESS facility will receive electricity from renewable sources. 40 to 50 wind turbines could produce electricity equivalent to the needs of ESS power consumption. With the energy solution that we are developing here for ESS, we are actually setting a new standard for research facilities. And this standard, we will, within E.ON, be able to actually roll out also in other parts of the world for other research facilities and hence make the, uh, the impact in positive terms on environment and energy efficiency even greater. Using renewable energy is not only a benefit for our environment. E.ON and Lund's Energy are working with ESS on options for producing the renewable energy. These will meet ESS needs for reliable renewable energy at a stable price, so that the science at ESS can rely on a secure energy solution. Almost all of the electricity consumed eventually becomes heat. At other large research facilities, this heat is released in big cooling towers. In order not to waste this valuable resource of energy, engineers from ESS, E.ON and Lunds Energy have designed a solution to recycle this heat into the district heating system of the surrounding cities. The ESS research facility will in fact become an energy provider for more than 10,000 homes. A reliable energy supply to the facility is of the highest importance in the research, since a loss of power to the facility would waste expensive hours and investments in the ongoing international research. Lunds Energy is a strong regional actor and E.ON a multinational company. By pooling our resources and competences together, we have been able to offer ESS a strong concept. All in all, the energy concept developed by ESS E.ON and Lunds Energy is estimated to reduce the facility's carbon dioxide emission with 165,000 tonnes per year for 40 years. This means a total of 6.6 .6 million tonnes of carbon dioxide. But how much is 6.6 .6 million tonnes of carbon dioxide? This is the large building of Turning Torso located in the city of Malmö in the south of Sweden. 
Savings of 6.6 .6 million tonnes carbon dioxide is equal to 64 turning torsos made of solid carbon dioxide. Or 32 Empire State buildings. Or 5.5 million round trips Paris, New York. Or Latvia's total emissions in one year. Each innovation builds upon the other. And an innovation which occurs in domestic life, let's call it, and scientific life will help the other. So I see it as a process which results in a lower environmental impact and a higher quality of life for all concerned. By collaborating in an open innovation process between academia, society and private companies, ESS can ensure transparency and quality in creating a most reliable, sustainable research facility that will set a new international standard in terms of both groundbreaking science and in green technology. The outcome of high-level research and advanced technology in the form of usable products is present everywhere in our daily lives in order to satisfy human needs. The future research at ESS, material science, is a key in developing a sustainable society. ESS is science for society.